Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I'll be tying a small little uh, mayfly, mayfly attractor. Uh, it's a little wet fly. Uh, great little fly. Uh, works really well. Um, I love this color, um, and uh, it, I, like I said, it, 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 I've had it work very well for me. So I will switch over to the large camera, turn on the light, and I will get, her, get us started on this fly. So today in the vise I will put in a BL, Hens BL354 in a size 10. So that's what that is. Um, for the uh, um, tail, I'm going to be using a little bit of Chartreuse H8 Squirrel Tail. Uh, for the body, I will use some Zemperfly Hollow Tinsel. And for the uh, rib, some Zemperfly wire uh, in hot green and then for the front hackle a uh, soft hackle I'll be using some of these feathers down here off of a dyed green partridge pheasant sorry not partridge pheasant um, so and I'll be using some uh, Zemperfly nano silk 12 watt so as always watch your thread This pattern has been extremely well uh, good for me. Um, I've, I tie it in two different versions. I tie one in a soft hackle version like this, and I tie another one with uh, with a more stiffer hackle at the front. Um, actually, if you go back a couple of months from now, um, I, I'll, I'll actually put it down in the link. Um, I uh, in the description I'll put the link in. I tied the uh, a stiffer hackle version of this fly a while ago, so. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of the squirrel tail. I don't need a lot of it. I only need like 8 or 10, 12 fibers, something like that, if that. Um, you can, if you would like, put a little bit of underbody weight on this one as well, if you want to use it in the, in the rivers and get it down deep. Just put a little bit of flat lead underneath it. So I'll just cut off a little bunch, pull out any of the, so that looks about right there. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to nip that all off the waist. I'm going to come back to the front. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room at the front, a couple of mil of where I want to tie in my soft tackle. Sorry, I was going to recut that. I had to switch hands there for a sec. Put it in on kind of on my side as it'll pull it it'll pull it up and over anyway and then just bring it all the way back you want to keep it on top so i'm kind of pulling it kind of off to the side to my way because it'll pull it in as i go then i'm going to go one wrap in behind the t under the tail and over top okay if you've got any really long ones like that you can grab your tweezers I don't have any nails so you can grab your tweezers and just give them a pull out if your tweezers are good enough so alrighty I'm just gonna get that a little straighter for you guys in there so now I'll just go back up to the front here open wraps and then I'm gonna just tie off this front section here take a piece of this green wire it's a really neat look uh, neat green wire I love the color of this one I've actually tied some uh, some San Juan worms um, using this green. I thought they're just deadly. I know San Juan worms are normally red, but I tell you, in this green, they just they work. Especially in rivers, they work really, really well. Just a little bit, get a little bit of the tinsel, the hollow tinsel. Just catch it in on my side. Tie it in all the way back. Just tie it in nicely. Come back to the front, leaving a couple of mil there. And I'm going to tie, wrap this towards you. And then I'll counter wrap the wire. Now 
Leave yourself enough room up top, up front here for the uh, wet hackle, right? Get that off. Let's make sure that little tag is locked in. Counter wrap my wire, do one right at the back, and then I'll open it up and wrap five, six times. Sure you when you do your wire you always put it back over top and lock it in that way and if there's a little bit sticking out after you've helicoptered it off just go back so in about there is where I'm gonna tie in my soft tackle I already picked the feather so there's my little feather I'm gonna want this side out and you can see how it's curved so it's actually gonna lay back a little bit I'm going to get rid of all this fluff and the longer fibers that I don't want. Just prep it. So now I'm just going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm going to expose that center core. And then I'm going to nip it off. Create just this little triangle triangular tie-in point catch in right by the stem and come forward and then if that stuff you think is going to get into the eye just fold it back and then tie it down All right that way it's that whole triangular tie-in point is tied in There's still a little bit there but I can get that at the end so now I'm going to grab my hackle pliers. I'm going to have to do a uh, hackle plier review in the next little bit because there's so many different types out there. and I've tried a half a dozen or so and actually even more than that. And I'm not a fan of hackle pliers in the first place, but these ones here have been the best so far. These are the stone foes. They've got this little uh, spring section in it. I really like them. Just... Uh, Helps when you, especially if you got big clunky hands like me, um, it helps to kind of shock absorb if you've pulled too hard. Now I still break the odd feather, but it's the way it is. So one in front of the other. Once you've got them all wrapped in, or the amount that you think you want, lock that in. Lock it in. Let's go with your hackle pliers. Fold that stem back and go over that stem. Make sure that stem is locked in on the way back. Okay, I'll do one quick set of whip finishes here, just so I don't lose anything. Okay, and I'll turn my vise, get to my center stem there, and nip it off. <clears throat> I'll put a little bit of uh, Sally Hansen's onto my thread here I do it this way quite often is because I'm I am blind in one eye and uh, trying to get in there and put a drop on right at that on that little head there quite often I'll get it into the feathers and stuff so I find this much easier for for me I just find it cleaner um, I don't have to worry about it. That's why you'll see me sometimes I'm struggling when I'm cutting because I don't want to cut anything wrong, right? So that's the little the one eye. So okay, so once that's done, I just give it a bit of a make sure that uh, soft tackle material is just nicely separated, and there's your finished fly. Now sometimes if you want to keep this out a bit sometimes before I tie in the hackle I'll tie in just a little tiny dubbing bowl just to help it flare uh, to help it get flared out um, you know to hold these feathers out a bit but uh, I don't find that it makes that much of a difference so um, I just tie them like that so and here's one I did just prior to that right so All right so that's the finished fly um, it's very very effective when this gets wet and lays back and stuff you just get that little bit of that that silver shine through it and uh, 
that uh, little green tail really sticks out and it's an attractor so alrighty if you like that video give her a thumbs up um, if you've uh, subscribed thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and we'll see you on the next time video tie lines everyone